Welcome to our channel ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you in a very special way for taking your time to be part of our viewers today and for your continued support. Political realignments are beginning to take shape. That is why people like Rigathi Gashagwa are warning people who he feels are disrespectful to his boss, President William Ruto, because he wants to stay there as the next running mate, because he knows very well that there are a lot, that, that there are a lot of competition within the UDA and Kenya Kwanzaa as a team. Should Ruto decide that he's uh, subjecting people, subjecting the UDA for uh, for a vote to give him a running mate? Keturu Kendiki, Rigadi Gashagwan, Dindi Nyoro, I mean. Muslim Dabadi, what would the outcome be? And Azimio is also under scrutiny. If there is something that is giving Mila Ruto sleepless nights, is the formation that Azimio is going to come up with. Because a surprise candidate can also surprise William Samaruto. The truth is, Kenyans are tired of William Ruto. And if there is a candidate that is easy to beat, is William Samuel Ruto not unless something changes between now and 2027 because all his tactics are known. Raise the prices of uh, basic commodities, then start dropping them one by one, and you tell people that you have listened to them. Is it Kalonzo in the OD, uh, in, in, in Azimio? Is it Joho Paranyan? What would be the running man? So today, Ali Hassan Joho, one of the very prominent leaders in Azimio, actually, a deputy party leader in ODM, gave a double edge speech that was meant to clarify his position in the ODM and he said he's taking over. He's not afraid of that. He's been a friend to Raila. He's been very loyal. And he is sure that he's the one to take over. Actually, Raila had even said that Joho and Oparanya would take over. And number two part of that speech was to tell Ruto, I'm coming for you, I'll be in the ballot, and we shall meet on the ballot box. Now let me begin by asking you, between Joho and Oparanya, both are good leaders, but if you are given a chance to choose just one, who would you give an opportunity to lead ODM? You are told both of them are deputy party leaders, one must be a party leader, the other deputy. Who would you give? And if you are given a chance to vote for William, for Joho as a president, would you do that? Uh, listen to Joho, and then we shall come back and try and discuss Joho's speech. There are fundamental factors that we have over the period been able to learn from our party leader and our father, Raila Odinga. So, kuna tusharithi tayari, ujasiri, tumerithi, Eh, eh, kutokuwa na uoga tumerithi demokrasia tumerithi values ya kumweka mwananchi mbele tumerithi haki za mwananchi kumpigania bila uoga hizo zote tumerithi so there's a, the greater conversation on what we have over the period been able kupata na kusoma na kurithi kutoka kwa Raila Odinga otherwise as a matter of fact so I know the values of Raila one Raila Amolo Odinga and then also, I want to say something. Kuna watu wapa wengine na msikia mtu mmoja juzi ya sema, Oh, asanjoho, ankuja juzi. Juzi, juzi. I'm the founder member of ODM. Go and count. Ukianza kuisabu wale wakumi ya kwanza, mi miniko. Na hakuna mtu katika hii taifa amepitia mitihani ya kisiasa. Hasusan, kwa sababu ya kusimama imara na ODM. Hasusan, kwa sababu ya kusimama imara na Raila Odinga, kunishinda. I challenge anybody, mtu waji hapa. I say, nana lo kusorisasi hapa. Nana lo fungu biashara hapa. Nana lo finyo hapa mambu ya ilimu na mambu mingine. Nani? And then you can tell me, where has Hassan Joho been? My friend, buka jiangalia la kusema, staffi, mingine ni akipuzi. I don't even want to respond to them. Kama kuna mtu who has sacrificed maisha yake kujitua mhanga, on behalf of Raila Molo Odinga. Over the years, over the years, 
not for the six months, and you are doing so because of possible succession conversations. Ah, to ashimiane bana, to ashimiane safari. For every political party to make a meaningful contribution in any democratic space, you first, first of all, must be able to understand your own self. Ujielewe. And me, I want to tell you, me, I'm, I'm in ODM. My party is ODM. And I believe ODM should be the party that forms the next government. Me, I believe like that. Whoever wants to believe otherwise, anahakiake. Kama weo ni wachama chengine, you can do that. But Mimi, kama chama cha ODM, I believe we should form the next government. And if I am to run for president, and I've already nisha toa iyo I will only run under the ticket of ODM. Tumelewana? Mbona nye muna waswasi waswasi? Tuelewa neni? Chama kitakuwa ODM? Na hii ODM itaunda serikali uwe ngoja tu. I have leaders from Western region that we are engaging. And let me tell you, it's not hii kitu mdo watu wawelewe. Hii kitu siya mtu moja. It's not about me. We have to form a team of equals, like-minded leaders who believe in a cause, who understand where we want to go as a party and as a people to be able to liberate our people. It's not about one person. It will never be about an individual. Have we not learned from Raila Odinga? Raila Odinga carries others with him. There may be a first amongst equal, but we will engage on equal terms. And therefore, let me tell you. Kwa niaba ya wati wa puani, nataka kwa lika gavana wa Mombasa, Hassan Ali Joho, gavana 0, 0, 1. Nairobi Mambo Mukongangari Mukongangari Kinoma Ebu to Salimiana and Amkola and Amunahi and Amunahi and Amunahi Mimi Nataku and Bia to Siolazima Mintan of Siangu, even though ferry, according to me, is a devout function and affects the lives of my people, I ought to have been there. But in Kamu Takin Sawa. But the ni backwardness. Now some of you are just watching you. Kama ule 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 uyu. Wewe ni mekumaki ni mekupoint. There's nothing going to do to me, my friend. But what? Yani ni kunti chatisha mi mi onanti chapa manani. Mi se ogopi kama ni kuniwa mutani wale my friend. Wani mtumzi mungu ya kama mtumzi mabana. Ni nafukuza kama muzi ni mebi ana ni mimi. Se ni apa onanti chatisha na mabundu kizeni uzo. Manaume mezaliwa siku moja, my friend. Manaume mezaliwa siku moja, natakufa siku moja tu. Viticho siyo, havifanyi kazi. Napigia nini wale watu shuali? Shuali ule maruma natumia nini? Ule atakuja kwa civilian siku moja. Ambia wale watu wate kugonga watu. Wala iminta, wala iminta. 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 Like I said, listening to Joho, He's giving a warning to whoever is telling him that he came late, that he's not been there. He says he's been with Baba. And of course, you understand that even in 2017, when Raila went for swearing in as the people's president, there are leaders who never appeared there, but Joho appeared there. So he's been with Raila Molodinga for such a long time, and he says he's learned to be brave, to take the people together with him. And Joho naturally seems to me like a very brave leader. I know many people have discussed about the panic in ODM and what it means in ODM as Oparanya is preparing and Joho is preparing. There's a, a group in Nyanza who also feels that they must be part of it. Joho the other day met with uh, Junet Mohammed and uh, Ledama Lekin and Babu Wino and they said, ni sisi tumemaliza mkutano chama kiko imara and so i don't want to dwell on the part of odm but i want 
to look at what does it mean for William Samoei Ruto. And to be very precise, can Joho become a president in this country? What are some of the attributes that can make Joho stand a higher chance of becoming a president? Because contesting as a president is not as easy as ABC. There are people, it's easier said than that. You can simply wake up and say that I've got masters, I've got this, I've attended the age of 35, all this, you meet the qualifications. But do you have the wherewithal to become the president? And that exactly is what I want us to look at. For me, if you look at Joho, Joho has got a strong support base. He has a locked coast. You know that for the period when Huru did his two terms, and when Ruto was now taking over and he wanted to get inroads into that region, why not for Joho, I think Ruto would have even taken over. He got a sub some uh, substantial amount of vote there. But Joho withstood the pressure from UDA and he locked that region. And Joho has got the full support of Kosterias. If you were to name Kaping for cost, if you remove Raila, that would be Ali Hassan Joho. When Ruto infiltrated the coast and uh, they wanted Kosterias to have their own party so that they could pull away, Joho refused. In fact, he left the, 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 the current speaker of the Senate. Amazon Kingi, with a few leaders as the, 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 the Kingi formed power. That support of the coast and the support of the Muslims is one that can help Joho as they sit on a table to negotiate who deputizes him. Because you cannot be looking for a running mate if you yourself don't control a particular region. Every presidential candidate in this country must show their stronghold. Raila will give you Nyanza, and of course I know Raila controls even Western and all those, but you will start with that. William Ruto will start with the Rift Valley. Rigad will tell you that he controls Central. Our politics is based on ethnicity and region based. So Joe will start with the coast as he tries to traverse the other, the other you know, counties, and I believe that makes him a, 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 a leader who can become a president. Acceptability. Joho is accepted. You've seen him when he speaks uh, you know, to other people. Joho control masses and he can easily be accepted. I don't think Joho has ever rubbed shoulders in a wrong way with the other leaders. And when people look at loyalty to Raila Moludinga, people know, especially those who support Raila and they want if, if he has to inherit Raila's support base, then he's been very loyal, very brave, and people like him for that. Number two, Joe is tough, determined, and brave. And this came out very clearly when they were not reading from the same page with the Uhuruto government in their first term. The truth is, Raila supporters like people who are tough, people who are brave. That is why there's been you know, a lot of uh, fear about some leaders in Kenya Kwanzaa. They feel that they need someone who can fit into Raila's shoes. When you, when you talk of brave, uh, being brave, Joho fits in that shoes very well. And let me ask you, if Joho was to run for a president and he believes that his votes have been stolen and he knows very well that Kenyans are ready to stand by him, what do you think can happen? And then is, uh, he, he feels that he has been robbed of his victory. Do you think Joho can lie down? Let's say we have people like Joho teaming up with Babu Oweno. It can be chaotic. That's why I'm telling you that all along Raila has been a statesman. There is something in him that will ever cost him presidency in this country, but will save lives. Do you think Joho can entertain such? In fact, if Joho were to meet head on with William Samuel Ruto, I don't know the outcome. Joho will stand his ground and say, I need my votes, open the server, otherwise people will go full throttle to the end. And so being brave is something that Raila supporters will be very happy. People just need someone who will convince them that it will be there for them. Because, you know, there is this kind of fear that, you know, William Ruto can read elections. They just want someone because they're already tired. They just want someone who will step in and tell them, 
cast your vote mimi nitachonga joe is that person number two, joe is manid the truth of the matter is that you cannot contest for a presidency not only in kenya anywhere in the world if you don't have money many people say that kalonzo does not want to spend his money because he's waiting for 2027 he does not want to start you know early yeye kwake mapema sio best and people used to to support him financially people like Obama left him and that's why people argue that maybe he has not launched his campaign when people when when, when people see William Ruto and Rigathi you know go for interdenominational prayers every sunday thanksgiving ceremonies they use state money or their money and they've started campaigning only to less than two years into office and people want someone who will tackle Lila Bruto to start campaigning today joe has that money for you to organize for those rallies filling the choppers you know traversing the country sometimes you need to meet people here and there you know t-shirts all those materials for campaigns and i know there are people who always come in to help because their people are interested but you must have your own money that is why raila has been able to sustain from 2017 i mean 2007 2013 2017 2022 he's always on the ballot and, and giving the powers that be around for their money so joe has that money and that is why william ruto must be worried state house is worried because of this he's not a pushover and they must know how to contain joe in fact if joe becomes serious with this you will you will see a lot of uh, speculations now coming up you know some kind of cases there like i remember the other time they said that he had uh, some illegal illegal firearms anytime you provoke the government and or and they realize that you are now you know a heavy weight and a thorn in the flesh then they will impose on you they've done that to Jimmy Wanjigi Huru Kenyatta son um Maina Njenga so very soon you will see they will be looking at you know what to how to malign him and lastly Joho is uh, a young man you know they've always said that you know Raila is old he needs to go home that is what regarding Gashog always says that the only conversation we need to have with uh, Baba is how we can exit politics because he's always still selling people this idea that baba is old not knowing that in the next you know 10 years he will be as old as all the people he feels are old baba has challenged them that you can be old but your brain is sharp sharper than young people who are raising taxes people who don't mind about the the, the, the hustlers and and and, and the, the kenyans and electorates people will always be listening to the international community even if you are young and people don't feel you on the ground then you are as old as whoever you think and if you are old but you are sharp and you have the interest of the people at heart they see you are young so ladies and gentlemen being young will also cultivate because they will not have any other propaganda that you know we need younger people because joe i think is even younger than william samuel ruto and this is the reason why i believe that state house is it's not going to take it kindly they are not going to take it lying down they are going to sit down the nis how to counter joho with a lot of propaganda they might destroy him a lot of things i don't know what you think ladies and gentlemen but that speech is going to ruffle both both the odm and the government because something is cooking that is my take